this is Praxis and I'm back on site today just for a couple of hours. I was able to get the information I was missing yesterday. I got that last night. I brought it with me. When I first got here earlier, I finished up the bottom bathroom 100% done. All the studs, all the connections, all the places to attach the bathtub or shower unit down there, 100% set. Same with upstairs, same situation. Uh, I still have to work on the, uh, the sink area and the washing machine area over in the other room. And I'm just starting on that right now. But I've noticed that the, the saw blade on this table saw has been getting pretty dull. It's one of the things I picked up at the hardware store as a replacement blade, you know, when I was trying to think of anything that might come up. Uh, so I figured I'm gonna do that now. There's no sense in cutting with a, a really dull saw blade uh, because it heats up a lot and I just, you know, don't want to have the saw explode in my face. Uh, need a couple tools to go in here and get this guy out. But first, is there something I'm forgetting? There totally is. Look to your left, over there. It's always a good idea to unplug tools before you work on them, just as a general tip. Uh, I actually did that on purpose, just it's a, it's a learning exercise, so I hope you learned something. Uh, I'm going to go in here, this thing holds the uh, saw steady, and I'm, I, I really should be using an adjustable crescent wrench, but I don't know. It's in my toolbox, but I didn't want to go digging for it, and so I'm just going to use this guy here. It'll be fine. Alright, and let's see, can I get it off there? I forget, these guys, they thread the opposite direction, is that correct? Yeah, they, they go the opposite direction so that it doesn't loosen while the saw is spinning. Let's see, can I... Ah, I hate putting so much tension on it while my fingers are just a couple inches from a saw blade. Okay, there we go. It's starting to go. Am I tightening this or loosening this? <laughs> I was tightening it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's, let's try that again, except this time not stupid. Let's see. Oh man, I hate putting so much tension near the saw blade. And it goes, and I'm afraid I'm gonna like, well, you know, cut my fingers. All right, so I've got the nut off here. I let the uh, the saw blade sit in the car for a couple days after I got it because I wanted to. Uh... How does that come off? Oh, wait a second. What does that do? Okay, well clearly I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, there we are. Alright. That's coming off. I'm just not sure how you, uh, how to run that camera. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, it's, uh, it's not clearing to, to pop out. It might, yeah, I, I hope you don't have to disassemble the whole top. Yeah, it looks like maybe you're supposed to disassemble the whole top. There's a little, uh, metal piece. I assume I'm, it's got some Phillips head screwdrivers. I gotta pull those out. I'll be able to get the thing off. Then put on the new one. You guys probably don't want to watch the whole thing. But yeah, it's good to have uh, nice sharp saw blades. And always when you're working on tools, make sure you unplug them. As for knowing exactly how to fix the thing, I always figure it out eventually. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.